Hello and welcome back to Nagash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take cost estimate of a building in Revit. This is actually a very simple process and if you're a civil engineer or an architect or a construction project manager you can actually find this very useful. You know that cost estimation is sometimes very tricky or very time consuming but you can do a very simple job with Revit. So I'm going to just start a new project just from scratch to show you how this is done. I share Revit tutorials on this channel very often and if you're interested in learning Autodesk Revit please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can get notified when more videos do come out. So let's get into the video. So we're in a new Revit project right now and I'm just going to turn on 3D so you can also see the 3D project while working in 2D as well. And the first thing you want to do is actually create shadows because I noticed that's the easiest way to get a summary cost of everything that you're doing. So we're just going to go over to the view tab and in the view tab, you'll find under the create tab, you would see shadows and on that shadow, just go ahead and select shadow and quantities. And over that, you can choose whichever one you want to actually create a shadow for. I'm going to start with walls and you can do this for virtually anything, columns and everything, even windows. So I'm just going to just choose walls and then click OK. And on that walls, you can see all the available fields you can actually choose to get from. But I'm going to show you one that is really important. So you need to pay attention. And the first thing we're going to add is the area of the wall. And we're also going to add the cost of creating one square meter of the wall because it's really crucial to what we're going to do. You can also add the family and type of the wall just to differentiate the external wall from the internal wall. And once you have that, the one thing you want to add is the formula that calculates the area of the wall per square meter. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to call it um, wall per square. You can call it total wall or anything else that you want to call it. it entirely up to you. For discipline, you can choose any one that you want. I'm going to leave it on common. And then for the number, what we call number type, I'm going to choose this to be currency. And the formula is going to be area times the cost of creating one per square meter. All right. So over here, you're just going to choose area. And once that's selected, you're going to press the multiply tab or the star key on your keyboard. That's going to represent multiplication sign and then go ahead and select the cost. So this is going to be the area that the cost of producing one per square meter. And in order to add that per square meter, you have to divide this by one so Revit actually understands what you're doing. If you just leave it without division by one, it's going to just give you a random answer. And because the area is in meters and the cost is in dollars or euros or naira, whichever one you're using, you need to actually add this number divided by one to actually just get a value for yourself. Go ahead and click OK. And then you have your area cost family and wall type, also wall per square meter. You can head over to sorting and grouping. Then you want to sort the walls by their family type. That's also good. You can also add a separating line to actually push the different types of walls from the interior walls and the exterior walls, something like that. You can also set other parameters that you want your shadow to have because that's where the cost estimate is going to go into. So let's say we're going to create a wall, a very simple building, for example, and we're going to start with a wall. Obviously, I'm just going to change this to use rectangle and just go ahead and create a rectangle um, signifying your walls and the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and assign a material cost to this wall now i don't know the cost of wall construction wherever you are in your country it could be different for every other country of course but you can go back to the wall and then go to edit type in the properties tab head over there and then scroll down to all the properties you're going to find the cost property for the wall here i had a value of ten dollars for testing and you can actually put any value you want in here it could be 10 it could be 15 whatever value that you want. Let's just say we're going to use a value of $15 per, per square meter just to construct a square meter wall. Just go ahead and click apply and then click OK. Now, once you've assigned that cost to every wall, every wall that has the generic basic wall 200 mm is going to have a, an assigned cost of 200. So if you go back to the wall schedule now, OK, we have our $15 there. You can see that each value has been assigned to the particular wall that was created. So you have a cost estimates for the rectangle that we just finished creating now this the same thing applies for doors or windows or whatever so we're just going to put a simple door so there's a revit passage in here i don't know if this is an external door or an internal door but you're just going to do the same process edit type and then scroll down to the material cost let's say the door is going to cost us slightly less than the wall per square meter so we're just going to add make this 12.5 dollars assuming just go ahead and hit apply and then head over to the building that you want to assign put one door in here put another external door at this other end just for saying so if you go back 
to the shadow so you can see that this is just a wall shadow but you still have to go ahead and create door shadows so just the same process head over to view head over to shadows shadows and quantity this time instead of picking walls you just go ahead and pick door i think i passed it go ahead and select door and the same thing you want to put cost for the door and you can also choose the family and type for the door and that's pretty much it since the door is not like per square meter it's not like the wall so it just gives you this one single unit of a door production assuming you can do it however you want to choose to do your calculation just go ahead and click ok you're going to have a door shadow in there you can see the cost of the door by the side i should have actually did, done this to do right aligned so you can actually see clearly so i've gone on to add some additional components to the building and i'm also going to reduce the wall height because it's currently set to unlimited so i'm just going to lock this down just go ahead and press tab after you hold one of the walls just zoom in here real quick go ahead and press tab so i'm going to drop down this external wall from the unconnected height we're just going to lock it to level two to be the top so that's obviously going to change the if you look at the wall shadow it's going to change the size of the wall significantly and you'd notice also in the wall shadow that some of the totals don't really show up so you can actually go ahead and change that just go over to the properties on the properties panel here just go ahead scroll down to the other go ahead and select that and then you can see the sorting and grouping there's filters there's field but in the formatting tab what you want to do is under the cost you're going to change the conditional formatting first of all and then you're going to change the field format first of all instead of using project settings we're just going to change that to the unit symbol go ahead and add dollars to that let's say we're using dollars then in the sorting tab go ahead to grand totals you can leave this last item itemize every instance i think that's okay but go ahead and select grand totals allow it to check title count and totals go ahead and click ok and you're going to see the total value in dollars for each of the walls so currently our wall shadow says 112 dollars we also have a door shadow here like that we've gone on to add we can also do some changes to the wall shadow you can go to sorting and then of course select the grand totals and then for the formatting the cost is here just go ahead and choose the field format change that option from the current or the, for the currency instead of using project settings just turn on dollar sign and then of course you've already selected grand totals and click ok so the grand total this is only showing count for doors did i make a mistake probably i think i made a mistake okay i didn't ask you to calculate so under the cost for doors we're going to go we're just going to go in here and then select calculate the total and then click ok yeah that should give us a total of 55 dollars for all the doors that are going to be created so this is the way you can go about doing it find the grand total of each of the elements that you've done now this is not only limited to walls and doors i also added windows i think so you can also do window shadows but i'm going to add a component because it also applies to component let's say you're in the building and then this is a water closet we're going to add a water closet in here i know that there are two windows in here but let's assume this is like a mini toilet so you're just going to just drop that toilet water closet in there and you can select the water closet and then go over to edit type and then you can input the cost of one water closet wherever you live wherever your construction area is just go ahead and input the construction cost for one water closet including once you include that go ahead and click ok and in order to create shadows for components just go over to the shadow tab and then of course select by category and i think the water closet is going to be under fittings or plumbing where is it under plumbing and fixtures is likely where you're going to find water closet so we're just going to add the family and type head over to the cost add the cost as well and then click ok so we can see the water closet is in here for plumbing and fixtures and of course just like we did for the other one you can go ahead to filters and depending on how many you add in your building go ahead and select grand totals and then for the formatting you can obviously change it on the for the cost as well and then uncheck this and turn on the dollar sign to help you know what the total cost of all the toilets or every plumbing and fitting or every component that you go on to add into your building you can have them have your grand total and don't forget to tell it to calculate the grand total of everything so in case you're here go over to sorting grand total is selected and under formatting for cost always enable the calculate totals and then click ok it's going to calculate so we have only one toilet so that's 25 dollars based on what i put so this is how you can go about like estimating the cost of your building and then you can take all the grand totals and put them in an excel sheet and calculate the ultimate grand total so if you found this video useful do remember to leave a like on it and also subscribe to the channel for more revit tutorials like this i'll see you in the next video